Hello ladies and gentlemen, Seoul does not believe that North Korea's recent test launch of a newly developed uh, ICBM crossed a red line, the South Korean Ministry of Unification said on Friday. Now the government estimates that North Korea's missile test didn't provide the capabilities including atmospheric re-entry, precise guidance at terminal phase, or the operation of a nuclear warhead, Lee Eugene, deputy spokesperson for the ministry, told Assembled Media during a regular news briefing. We don't judge that they crossed the red line. Hmm, okay, is that like Obama's red line, I wonder, or is it a different red line? But anyway, I digress. The red line is North Korea completing its development of ICBM and weaponizing it by n mounting a nuclear warhead onto it, Moon said at a press conference marking his first 100 days in office in which he added that the DPRK was fast approaching this threshold. Seoul has not stipulated what action it might take once Pyongyang crosses this red line. Now, one Seoul-based expert... Uh, said South Korea is likely concerned about a possible use of the military option by Washington and is, as a result, understating North Korea's capabilities. South Korea's position has political significance, but it's hard to believe its objectivity. Dr. Andrei Lankov, a director at the North Korea Risk Group, the parent company of NK News, said, Seoul has an incentive to underestimate the situation. Huh, I don't know why they'd have an an incentive to do that, but okay. Um, so uh, South Korea doesn't believe that North Korea's uh, recent test uh, essentially crossed any red lines. That North Korea, there there are certain um, uh, certain points that North Korea hasn't reached yet, certain uh, capabilities that they claim North Korea hasn't reached yet. So therefore, uh, no red lines have been crossed. Um, well, okay. Uh, Again, North Korea, what truly is going on here? Is it just a big distraction? Is it a threat? Are we more likely to see war in the Middle East or with Russia? I will say this, ladies and gentlemen, I believe sincerely uh, that we are on the verge of some major military conflict that could be potentially uh, life-changing for a lot of Americans. I, I don't ask me to pinpoint which one because I don't know, but I just sense... There's so it seems like the powers that be are creating multiple war scenarios all at once. Uh, the fog of deception is thick. We don't know which one to look at. The fog of war, we don't know which one to look at. But anyway, I'll leave you a link to this, ladies and gentlemen, so you can read the whole thing in its entirety. And folks, if I could ask you please to check out the link to my latest fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer Story. Uh, the Kindle is only $1.99. If you were signed up with the Kindle Unlimited program, you could read it for absolutely free. The paperback is $7.99. Folks, if you're watching a video like this one, this is a book for you. It's gritty. It's edgy. It's timely. It's today. Fortress, A Wayfarer Story. What will you do if it comes true? It's today's fiction, but it could be tomorrow's breaking news. It's got it's got North Korea. It's got uh, independent journalism. It's got hacking, domestic terrorism, so much, folks, and the supernatural battle that we are waging right now. Uh, it is linked below. There's also a link to a free read of Chapter 1, which is called Fake News, where you'll, you'll meet indie journalist Dave Jamison. Go ahead and check that out. And there's a link to some music as well of mine, uh, some previously released music. Now, folks, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Please give this video a thumbs up. And please share it if you feel so led to. And most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I'll see you soon.